It doesn't matter if you want to run, walk, or bike. You can do them all in Merle's Inlet. Definitely in 2007. You can even do it this Saturday. What's it all about? You'll find out coming up next on Carolina People. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at Carolina Trust Federal Credit Union on 21st Avenue in Myrtle Beach. We're focused on Myrtle's Inlet 2007, and we're visiting with its executive director, Sue Sleds. Good morning, Sue. Hey, Greg. Nice to see you again. Thanks so much for coming oh, back. Oh, my pleasure. It's, it's a little exciting. early in the morning. That's right. I know it is early, but not for early you. for your uh, events coming up. Obviously, this Saturday, you're going to be up way early. That's right. That's right. Uh, this Saturday, we have a fundraiser, the Race for the Inlet, right. and it's a walk-run bicycle event. And we also have optional chip timings for those who are inclined for professionally um, timed results. Mm -hmm. And we have um, enlisted Danny White of Race Management Systems. Any of the runners on the beach know about Danny. Right. So we're pretty excited about it. we got you know great sign-ups already, and people can still sign up. Uh, actually, today is the last day for late registration. Uh, but then the day of, uh, they can come down to the park early in the morning. We'll be down at, there at 6.30 in the morning. Okay, I think yeah. it might be dark at the time, but we'll be there. <laughs> and uh, accept early registrants for the day. Great, good. And it, but it kicks off at 8. 8 a.m. is when we step off, and it's right. a 5K. goes up Business 17, around Blaine, down Merle's Inlet Road, across Fox Hall, and back down Business 17, so we end back at Morris Park Landing. Okay. And then we might stop over at your house for breakfast. Good. Yeah, absolutely. We'd love that. <laughs> I'm actually having a big barbecue uh, this Saturday. We'll have a uh, hundred some folks over today, so it'll well, be a big great. day. I'm glad you all are wrapping up beforehand. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to knock anyone over on, on the way down? It should be, it, you know, Merle's Inlet's so special, and of course it's uh, got yes, so it much is. going on in Merle's Inlet 2007. It is 2007 now. It, so. it is. You know, I, I had a laugh last week. I was up at the park for uh, Huntington Beach State Park for Can-Am, um, the History and Wildlife Day, and in prior years everybody always asked, what's the significance of 2007? But this year I didn't get asked that once because it's the year finally. <laughs> they know. And I know back when the organization was founded 10 years ago, it seemed forever oh, yeah. and, you know, light years away. It did. And here we are already. It's upon us. So. I know. And, of course, the significance of that name, you feel comfortable. Y'all are, uh, and I know y'all are going to be talking about this and many other things tomorrow night at your chowder That's talk. That's right. We have our uh, annual spring chowder talk. We actually do them twice a year, once in the spring, once in the fall. It's an update to the community. Right. Try to host various speakers, topics of interest to the community. So uh, tomorrow night uh, we have it. It's at uh, chowder starts at 6.30, compliments of Drunken Jacks and Inlet Affairs. Yeah. And the meeting will be held at Inlet Affairs directly across the street from Drunken Jacks on Business 17. Right. And then the meeting will start at 7 p.m. And uh, boating safety has been an interest um, for many of the residents in Merle's Inlet. Oh, yeah. The um, inlet, you know, the boats keep coming in, and so we're going to have um, some speakers from DNR. Uh, South Carolina DNR will be there along with Senator Cleary. Is that right? To, Tomorrow night. Uh, talk about the, you know, what, what is, can be done about right. um, making sure that it's always safe out there in the inlet because that is utmost importance for oh, everyone. Absolutely. And then we'll be uh, updating the community on uh, some proposed long-term goals that the board worked out uh, back at, in a workshop uh, in January. So. We feel the board believes that um, as long as the community sports is there, which has always been phenomenal, yes, it's yes. just a phenomenal community, uh, that we would continue on to do the types of projects that the community wants and needs. And of course, over the past 10 years, the Marsh Walk is you know, a major claim right. to fame. Yes, it's just definitely. done wonders for mm -hmm. the entire inlet, not just the restaurants there. And um, of course, we've done the bike the bike lanes, promotion of Merle's Inlet, mm -hmm. uh, landscaping, mm -hmm. signage. Uh, so there's been a lot of projects that have been completed. Well, we sure want to get into all of those. We've got a, lot, a little bit of time to do that, but if a viewer needs to get off to work or to get family off to school or otherwise, what's the best? Is there a phone number? Do you all have a website, Sue? That uh, both, yeah. Okay, uh, great. 
the phone number is 357-2007. Oh, and, yeah. And Easy I'll, one to remember. That for this year, the next year, we'll have, you know, it'll be old news. But, um, and I'll be the person on the phone for whoever may call for information on any of the uh, uh, projects or sure, activities we have. Events, yeah. And our website is merlesinletsc.com. Great, merlesinletsc.com. That's right. It's, and it's a great site. There's a ton of tremendous information yes. on there, a lot of good links and otherwise. That's right, and we always try to keep our event calendar um, current up there. So if in doubt, just check out there to see what's going on. Right, right. And that is then a very hectic event calendar with something tomorrow night, something this Saturday, something April 1st, something I think April 16th. That's right. We, Literally over the next uh, four weeks, you've just got it packed. Yeah, it's pretty hectic. You know, it, it comes in spurts. Mm -hmm. you know, it's the nature of the beast. You tend to sit quiet during summer because everyone's so busy. Right. Um, and then in the fringe seasons is, is really a good time to you know, get out and, and make things happen for the community. Yeah. You mentioned April 1st. Uh, that is the Lost at Sea Memorial annual ceremony. This will be the second year. Of course, the monument was unveiled last year and really uh, initiated and, and um, launched by the family of Johnny Brown, one of the local fishermen who was right. lost at sea. Right. So there are five more names to be added um, this year's uh, ceremony. So that will be April 1st uh, at 2 p.m. at Morse Park Landing. Okay. And then a few weeks later, we have our annual um, golf and tennis benefit, April 16th. Okay. It's at Wachesaw Plantation. It's a great event. It's our ninth year now of ninth running. Ninth year? I did not know that. Yeah, That's tremendous. Yeah, it's been a long-running yeah. event. You know, Wachesaw Plantation's a private course, so it's an excellent opportunity to get out there and, and play a beautiful course. The azaleas are usually in bloom at oh, that yeah. time. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, so, um, so we invite anybody who's uh, possibly interested um, in playing or even sponsoring. We still have sponsorship spots available. Good. And what day of the week is the, that's the 16th? That's a Monday. Okay, on a Monday. That's a Monday. Okay, yeah. great. Good. So you so, should have a great turnout that day. That's right. And then it's, uh, the tennis and the golf tournaments are followed with lunch at Kimball's. Mm, so, good. You know, right there. Yeah. And yeah. You know, that's a beautiful oh. setting right there on the, on the river. It's uh, oh, just yeah. gorgeous. So. So again, if a viewer was interested in possibly being a part of the tournament, have you all sold out on that yet, or you um, got some room? It's, it's filling it's up getting, quickly, getting and close. it always does sell out right. every year because we limit the spots to facilitate play. Of course, play. play. You know? Yes, yes. So uh, they need give to us call, a call the phone number. That's Could right. they sign up online, or is it all by phone? Uh, we have the information online, sure. but they need to they uh, need contact to call. us. Yeah. That's great. You know, phones are often so good, and it's easy for a viewer right now. If they needed to get up, they can call, leave a voicemail right. message for you since we're here at Carolina Trust and not down uh, in right. the morals in the 2007 I'll, office. I sure. return all phone calls. So. That's great. Yes, you do. You're very responsive, <laughs> Sue. And, of course, to think about, and y'all's great location there, um, you've been in that same location, uh, I guess, from the get-go. Yeah, exactly, over in the Village Center. Right, right um, across the, from the uh, restaurant there. Uh, Lee's Inlet Kitchen. Lee's Inlet right. Kitchen. So uh, it's, a, it's a great location, most definitely. Mm -hmm. um, in, right in the center of Merle's Inlet. I guess it was, you know, it used to be the location of the old Merle's Inlet post office at one time. Is that right? Right I in that area. That. So, yeah, yeah. So uh, often people will, the locals will refer to it as such. So That's that's yeah. wild. I didn't yeah. know that. Of course, I, we go down to Blue Elephant, a little oh, Thai yeah. restaurant a little south of your office, not far. And, of course, you've got the uh, River City Cafe right there, oh, right yeah. a little north yeah, of you. Yeah, uh, all kinds of good eats around. A lot around. of other great eats, Not yeah. to mention the great seafood restaurants. All up and down, all up and down, absolutely. and our markets, the seafood markets. Yes, you know, so. have a lot going on in Merle's yes, Island. A lot of folks don't think about that. Uh, yeah. I don't think as often as they should. Mayor Rhodes is going to be with us from the city of Myrtle Beach on Friday, and we sure want to talk about the goings on in Myrtle Beach. But you know, as you go up and down the Strand, it's so fascinating to think about all the activities in the different pockets of our community. Oh, definitely. You know, and there's always and there's different flavors to mm -hmm. all the nooks and crannies of our area too. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, if anyone hasn't been to Merle's Inlet, um, you, know, you need to get down there because it's a completely different look and feel from uh, many of the other areas. What brought you to, are you originally from the area? Sir? No, I'm originally from Ohio. Uh -huh. And um, it was uh, love at first sight, uh, the classic story. I came down to visit my sister and brother-in-law who were 
had purchased a house down here yeah. to visit and was signing real estate papers, you know, an hour before heading to the airport. Oh, no. Now I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, <laughs> I just yeah. bought a house here. And it's, was it was yeah. love at first sight. Wow. And so that was nine years ago. And Your sister and brother-in-law had moved down, and did they have connections here? I mean, well, like, actually, yes, because my brother-in-law's aunt and uncle have been down in the area for over 20 right? years. So. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's, you know, I, I love being near, the, obviously, as everyone does, near the coast. Sure. And, and uh, Merle's Inlet itself was just, you know, you know inviting as could be. And yes, it's, you know, yes. with its special little character. So. And how did Merle's Inlet 2007, how did you all connect, Sue? Have you been I started volunteering with them back uh, in 2002, I think it was. Um, I had been, my in my prior life, um, by profession and training experience, I'm a, a pro have had been a project manager managing primarily large computer implementations. Really? So, uh, Merle's in the 2007 was getting started on the, on rebuilding the old government dock into a fishing right. pier, and right. so uh, I'd been following the organization and offered up my my uh, skills as a project manager to try sure. to get that going for him. And um, volunteered with them for a couple of years, and you know, while I worked primarily out of town, back and forth, a lot of travel. Right. And then the position opened up, and um, yeah, they just hired me. that's <laughs> tremendous. And of course, but that that highlights some. Are there ever volunteer needs, Sue? Do you oh, have volunteer absolutely. needs on a regular basis? Absolutely, we have um, all kinds of volunteer needs, especially uh, now that we're just at the cusp of launching many new projects. Sure, yes. Uh, so we um, we use what volunteers is, yeah, for the what, events. Right. Uh, I mean, actually, okay. we're, like, for example, on the race uh, this, this Saturday, coming Saturday, right. we'll have a lot of volunteers on the road and at the mm -hmm. park helping Good. us out. So you could still take volunteers even for this Saturday? Uh, I think we're good. They need to call we're good. again. No, oh, we're good okay. for this Saturday. Good. Yeah, okay. we, we got them all organized. Listen so we never have an issue with it, too. I mean, the community is so supportive. Oh, yeah. And then... Uh, and there's, you know, there's always needs, um, you know, we can use folks with some internet skills to do some research for us on funding. Good, yes. And, um, and then, of course, uh, for all the fundraising planning, you know, we do, we have the race, we have the golf and tennis tournament, we have a gala every um, fall. And that's been very popular. Is yes. that the same thing, traveling from restaurant to restaurant? Yeah, yes. we, yeah we've done that. Last, this past year we had it at the firehouse. Oh, good. It was a one-time deal. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and then um, we're also looking to do a home tour again this year for the right. holiday season. Very popular. Your house was on it two I, years ago. I'm and just was, thrilled that you all even considered that. Yeah. House. yeah. So, um, so uh, for all those events and, and many of the um, you know, just the planning committees were always looking for folks, and we have great support. And I was amazed, Sue, the folks that came in, and I was about to ask that question, if you ever have volunteers at Merle's Inlet 2007 who do not live in Merle's Inlet, and I know you must, because yeah, I was do. fascinated by the number of folks that visited the home, and of course I went to check out the other homes as well, but who didn't live in or around Merle's Inlet. They were traveling yeah. from long distances to see these homes on the creek. Yeah, that's the nature of a home tour yeah, you know, everyone right. um, the, it does draw a lot of folks uh, from many areas uh, especially the home tour everyone you know loves to take a peek into oh, people's yeah, that's home that's right so. that's right and it is <laughs> but strange just like the race too the Saturday we have uh, lots of signups coming from Myrtle Beach and Conway right. Georgetown Mount Pleasant we got folks one of our sponsors is out of Mount Pleasant is that um, right who has a long time Merle's Inlet family connection sure so.